The reason why infectious diseases like COVID-19 spread very fast is because if somebody gets infected, they infect more than one other person. And that person infects more than one other person. So the disease grows exponentially in the population. But if you can catch that new infection fast before it gets the chance to cause another infection, the disease disappears. To approach this level of testing, you need to sample people intelligently and test, and you need to do it regularly, quickly. What we have done um, is develop a method that can improve the capacity of countries to test uh, massively and regularly at lower costs. And when you do that, then you can quickly stop new outbreaks from spreading within the community and eventually cause the disease to disappear. Nine mathematical model, it's a model using hypercubes where you can just make a mix-up of the samples before you test them. And then you minimize the cost and also the time for reporting the result. And then we were trying just to propose something which will be convenient for the country for massive testing, for community testing. And then we validated this approach in our lab here. We used uh, to have as, uh, an average of 1,500 samples a day. We used to have like a, a, a quick uh, feedback within 48 hours. Now we pull testing, then it is very quick. Within a day, give the feedback of the patients. The reason this hypercube does better is because um, minimization problems generally favor uh, symmetry. So let's imagine we had two uh, infected individuals and uh, they're located at these two points of the, of the hypercube. Well, the slicing in the X uh, direction would capture those two points on different slices, but the slicing in the Y or the Z directions would capture them on the same slice, so that would be degenerate and you could not uniquely identify their coordinates. However, if these points happen to be arranged in this way, then uh, the configuration is non-degenerate and uh, every slicing finds the unique value of, uh, of the coordinate. Uh, it's not hard to work out that a non-degenerate um, configuration has probability two-thirds. Uh, if we have three, uh, the only way you get non-degenerate uh, is a, in a configuration like this, where uh, the points are, are not on the same slices in each of the three directions. But it's easy to work out. This, this occurs with probability two-ninths. So if you slice up your population on all possible slices, and if n and d are large, there will always be many slices which are non-degenerate, and those are the slices you use for uh, the algorithm. Uh, to work. This is not the first time we collaborate on this. There are students being trained by EMS and uh, uh, some of the students are from the RBC. We, we are now just trying to make a reflection how to can develop more. There are many countries which are now interested. So Ghana was the first country just to try to uh, apply this approach. South Africa is also behind. One of the problems we have is that we have uh, uh, people making decisions, you know, prescribing solutions to problems that they don't understand. So we need uh, science uh, because really it is the key to understanding and identifying uh, sustainable solutions to problems. Yeah, so this is a good um, example of how um, we can take the marks that we're doing at AIMS to the field and make an impact we will work to create more opportunities for this to happen. And the fundamentals have to be there, so we need to be training people, and we're going to amplify this effort so that we create more partnerships.